Hello, I'm Stefan Ineichen, development engineer from Sooner Switzerland. And today I'm going to show you the EFCM02, the power hub and as well the cable hookup. So this is the EFCM02. This is what you get when you order it. I hook it up here on the adapter plate directly. So the adapter plate you get as well within the order. There, watch out the slots. These are for alignment of the ESCM02. There as well holes for standard ISO patterns, as well cobalt pattern. So with a 13 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna tighten the screws here. Three screws in total. There you go, all screws tightened. Now let's hook up the cables. If you order the cables, you get an orange cable, it's the motor cable actually, 50 meters. And you get as well two of these green network cables. You get as well a black center actor cable, it's seven here. These are all 15 meters. Now let's start with the orange cable. So the orange cable comes through this connector here. Watch out the pin alignment. Tighten the connector like this. This is tightened. Watch out as well, the edges here don't conflict with the cable. So on the other side, show you here, the other side, you have cable hookups where you can feed the cable through. So with cable zippers, you can directly tighten the orange cable to its final position. Keep the edges or the, the cable curve as, as tight as possible because usually every millimeter counts within your application. Second cable zipper there. There we go. As a next step, I will hook up a network cable. There is a, actually there is a connector for a network cable. On the other side, we have sensor reactor cable connection and another network cable connection. So I'll show you the network cable connection now. That I turn my stand here. So here you see what I actually connected now. Now I hook up the cable zipper. So here does it look like as soon as you have the cable zipper mounted. The so next step, I hook up the sensor actor cable, which is going there, over here, and going to the connector here on the other side. So hook up the sensor actor cable. Therefore, the EFCM02 needs to be in extended position because I need to feed through here the cable. Like this, now hook up the cable zipper, that the cable is fixed. Cutting the cable zippers, there is this T-shaped hookup on the metal sheet. This is for easier setup of the cable zippers. You can first go around the cable, then go to the position you want to have the cable, tighten the cable, go over the, the T-shaped form, and then hook up the cable. Tighten the cable zipper, there you go. 
On the other side, it looks like this. The cable comes out of the cable duct, needs to go as well to this T-shaped sheet metal. So cable zipper first. Go around the T-shaped form, tighten the cable zipper. There you go. Next step, we need to make this shape here to come along the other cables. So what I'm doing now the, on the other side is go around the T-shape here and hook the cable zipper within the cable to this position of the black cable. So there is one more cable missing on the other side. Exactly this cable here needs to be connected as well. This is the last cable we need to connect. This cable follows the orange cable to the other side. Like this. And then goes to the connector here below. So there needs to be another cable zipper here on the T-shaped form. Watch out here for the edges of the EFC M02. Coming to the other side, the network cable needs to go to this fixture here. Here you see now the cable, the blue cable, coming from the other side, is here fixed with the cable zippers. As a last step, I connect all the cables together. There you go. Here you see all the cables are together now, going to your power up. As a last step, I shorten all the cable zippers. There we go. All the cables are connected, cable zippers are in the right position. Now we go over to the power hub. Let's check now how to connect the power hub. On the power hub side, you need to connect the orange motor cable. You need to connect as well these two network cable to the power or Ethernet switch here on the right top. You need to connect as well the sensor actor cable to power the EFC subsystem. And here, what you see here, is actually the connection of the safety stop. What you see here is the connection of the power supply. Here above, watch out, the antenna for the 4G module needs to be put on the outside and feed the cable through the outside. There, watch out the fuses, turn them on, that you're ready to go. Let's start the power up. You see in the beginning the EFC M02 started with blue light, homing, so and afterwards it went into green, green state. Here as well now the fan of the drive which is inside here. To control the EFC M02 by web interface, I need to connect the Ethernet cable coming from the switch inside of the power hub to my laptop. I do that with an Ethernet to USB adapter. Then I open common web browser and enter in the IP address of the EFC, the subsystem of the EFC M02. In parallel, I open up another web browser and enter there the IP address of the modeler subsystem of the EFCM02. So this is with the 38 in the end. Hit enter, there we go. Watch out the IP addresses again. EFC has 22 in the end, and the modeler part of the EFCM02 has the 38 in the end. So I'm going now to the data pages on both of these subsystems. There you see what's going on. At the moment, zero target force is entered. So this is hovering kind of. As soon as I, for example, change the target force to, for example, 10 Newton, it will push out to this direction. We can as well enter negative forces here, then it will pull in this direction. Watch out the LED. The LED now is white, 
because we reached an end position. In the middle of the range, LED is green, and at the end of the range, the LED is white again. So I leave the 10 newtons, which is for showing. On the right side, we have the subsystem modeler, which is controlling actually the motor stuff. There is a fan integrated, usually it's in automatic mode, so the fan will turn on as soon as it's needed. You can as well turn on the fan manually if you want. And the fan is on. Put it into auto again. What you see here below is the target speed. Target speed is at the moment 2000, I can as well change it to 1000, for example. You can as well change the shaft direction. The shaft direction at the moment is clockwise within that connection. So next step, I insert the tool. With me, I have an orbital sender for the modular setup here. The orbital sender has the disc already mounted. I enter in with levering this lever here to the upper position from your side, levering the lever here to this position, so unlocked position here, you see with the arrow, when I insert the two. This can be done manually, what I'm doing now, can as well be done by the docking station, which levers, which lifts up the lever. So now the tool is inserted already, and we are able to start the motor. What changed as soon as I inserted the tool, we have now a gear ratio which is coming from the RFID tags. Unlocked the clamping system once again. You see here we have RFID tags which is telling the EFCM02 what's actually hooked. So you don't need to care about the gear ratio. Clamped again, you see gear ratio there again. So as soon as I hit start, the disc will start to turn. There we go. At the moment, thousands is set as speed. I can stop the motor by pushing stop. So I change the speed now to 2000. Hit enter or submit and press start again. Now the disk is turning faster with 2000 speed. Hit stop. There you go. Now you know the most important steps to set up your EFCM02 as soon as you get it. Take control and let the robots grind.